how cool are bats? They're the only mammals that can fly, they see with sound, and they're a great excuse for the crew to dress me up like an idiot. I hope you guys are having fun. Looking good, man. We're good, man. Anyway, bats. When you're looking at a bat wing, you're actually looking at a highly modified hand. The surface area is a membrane supported by long, thin fingers. By taking to the air and exploiting niches other mammals can't, bats have become hugely successful, tallying over 1,000 species across the globe. In fact, they make up a quarter of all mammal species. Bats, of course, use echolocation to pinpoint and catch insects mid-flight. That requires some seriously frenetic maneuverability, like a fighter pilot on amphetamines. But it was only recently that scientists discover how exactly bats are pulling this off. It turns out that a bat's wings are covered in microscopic sensory hairs that detect changes in air currents. So in addition to using echolocation to make sense of their world, bats actually feel their way through the air. But not all bats are after insects. The biggest among them eat fruit. These are the accurately named fruit bats, the biggest of which sport a wingspan of almost six feet. Because fruit never evolved wings to fly around and evade predators, fruit bats have no need for echolocation. They just use their sense of sight and smell. The weirdest among the fruit bats has to be the hammer-headed bat. Only the males have that bizarrely shaped noggin, which amplifies vocalizations to attract females. And then, there are the vampire bats. And then, there are the vampire bats. Typically, these are going after things like pigs and cattle, but have been known to bite sleeping human beings. But unlike vampires like me, they don't actually suck the blood. They just give their victim a nibble and lap at the wound. Which makes me wonder why I had to wear this stupid thing at all. Guys? We had the idea before you wrote the script, man. 